Are you ready for some wild animal showdowns? Join us on the Forever Green channel for the best of the year. Animals messed with the wrong opponents. This special episode brings together the most exciting animal confrontations of the year. Watch as they compete for food, mates, and survival in the wild. Whether it's a buffalo flipping a lion like a coin, a leopard tangling with a python, or even a crocodile devouring another, you surely don't want to miss the surprising turns when animals go head to head with the wrong opponents. So, stay with us to see nature's biggest battles and how animals survive in the wild. Now, as rhinos don't tend to hunt warthogs, as far as we know, this photo may have been doctored slightly, but it does lead us nicely to our number one time when an animal messed with the wrong opponent. When a warthog decided to sneak some food from a very unhappy rhino. The most spectacular showdown on this list sees a humble warthog mess with the wrong rhino. It appears as though warthogs and rhinos are dining together in perfect harmony, but it doesn't last. It's common knowledge that you should never steal off a rhino's plate, and if it isn't, then it should be, because one of the warthog's attempts just that. For his efforts, the warthog gets a horn to the belly and is lifted off the ground so high, he goes out of shot only to come down with a thud. This warthog won't be making the same mistake again, either because he won't be walking anywhere near a rhino again, or simply won't be walking again first one-sided battle in the animal kingdom, and not one you'd necessarily expect in the wild. This is because this battle didn't happen in the wild, but in captivity for a crowd to see. At St. Louis Zoo, to be precise, in this video, a raccoon tries his luck and attempts to steal some food from a chimp enclosure. Big mistake. Going into the enclosure in the first place is brave, but attempting to steal food is just plain stupid. The raccoon sneaks into the chimp's turf and is met with not just one animal about 10 times bigger than him, but a whole family just waiting to give him a good old family welcome. Which means being stalked around the pen and hunted until eventually he's grabbed by one particularly angry chimp that flings the poor little critter spitting across the pen before hitting a wall. Now, I never saw this happening in the evergreen forest in an episode of the raccoons. If I had, it would have been pretty funny, but that was a cartoon. This is real and looks like it would have hurt quite a bit, but don't worry. Our furry friend was able to scurry off through a pipe and away from his chimp hell. It's anyone's guess who the predator here is and who the prey. Both orcas, also called killer whales, and the tiger shark are two of the greatest predators of the underwater world. This moment captured between them really is a battle. Three orcas were spotted ganging up on one tiger shark. Now, don't feel too bad because tiger sharks are responsible for their fair share of human attacks. Unfortunately, the tiger shark couldn't dominate in this fight. We're not surprised. If they're called killer whales, and there are three of them, you already know who's winning. They forced the shark to the surface of the water and flipped it onto its back, thereby paralyzing it. They then bit its fins off before making a meal of the shark. Now tiger sharks are not what we would typically consider prey for obvious reasons. But for this group of orcas, it certainly was. Sometimes the tables are turned and there have been reports of tiger sharks and great whites eating whales. So it's a regular war in the sea amongst the two families. If two honey badgers were pit against six lions, who was coming out alive? The answer should be so obvious, but it isn't. These two badgers crossed into dangerous territory when they entered a lion's den. The pack was probably excited to see their dinners literally walk to them, and they pounced. But a lioness got bitten on the nose and retreated, allowing the badgers to make a clean escape. How funny would it be if this was the same badger entering into the pack of the same lion from earlier? Wild dogs make for some of the best hunters in the world. 
In fact, they make for great companions when people go hunting for big game. But size isn't their advantage, especially against the wildebeest. The top bull of the pack charges right at one of the dogs and puts him on the ground while other dogs continue to attack. Suffice to say, the dogs didn't get their dinner that night. Equipped with powerful hind legs, a long muscular tail for balance, as well as short strong front legs, the kangaroo is the only large animal known to use hopping to move around. When standing, kangaroos use their tail to form a tripod with its hind legs. Kangaroos rarely fight, but when it comes to the mating season, then the strongest of them all takes the day. A female kangaroo only mates with the alpha male, and thus, fighting and winning the fight becomes not only a matter of life and death, but also a matter of future offsprings. Oh, extreme kangaroo fight in Japan. Just like two boxers in a ring, these two male kangaroos first spar before they begin throwing punches. The contestants first smack each other's faces with their hands, kick, then start streaming in with their impact loud enough for the bystanders to hear. By balancing their bodies using their tails, the kangaroos can deliver painful and damaging kicks on each other. A few kicks like these on a human are enough to disembowel him. The kicking and hitting are mixed with wrestling as they try to force one another to the ground. In the end, the kangaroos crouch low to the ground and pause as if to hold a truce. Come on. Come on, bro. Don't pee on me. These kangaroo fights result in the death of one of the males as the injuries sustained both internal and external are fatal. Unfortunately, that is the only way to ensure the best, fittest, intelligent, most determined, and strongest of the kangaroos sire the future generations. Let it go, dogs, let's go! It is documented that on average, the African buffalo tramples, gores, and kills over 200 people every year. From wannabe daredevils to hunters and poachers, this death toll is enough to tell just how aggressive these big bulls are. From its temperament, it shows that the African buffalo has never been domesticated, and therefore, for a piece of advice, you better not leave that tour van while out there on your safari drive. Yeah, keep coming, Harry. A water buffalo, on the other hand, is domesticated, and unlike their Asian counterparts, the African buffalo is a member of the African Big Five game. Lions remain the number one predators who prey on the African buffalo. In a typical lion pride, the lioness is tasked with hunting prey while the lion protects the pride. However, when the prey at hand involves a huge animal like the African buffalo, then the king of the jungle is summoned. In this video, a lion successfully manages to take down a buffalo. Well, almost. Until another male buffalo comes charging at him to try and save his friend from the looming death. Using its huge horns, the buffalo tosses the lion almost 5 meters into the air. On landing, the buffalo again charges at the lion and tosses him again into the air. Onlookers are left in disbelief of what they have just witnessed. If well projected, the buffalo horns are lethal enough to pierce vital organs, which results in fatalities. Luckily for this lion, he lives to tell his tale. His worst day ever. In this other video, a pride of lions has successfully cornered a monster lizard, and one of the lions decides that it's his meal alone. The lion dashes a few meters away from the pride to have his meal, and unfortunately takes his eyes away from his surroundings. A buffalo attracted to the commotion angrily charges at the lion, tossing him up in the air. The lion does a few flips mid-air and comes crashing down and immediately takes off. The lizard is free, and the pride disappears into the bushes. Well, believe me, that lion will definitely have buffalo phobia for the rest of his life. In a battle between Africa's largest snake species and a big cat, who would win? This video from the Kruger National Park in South Africa may have the answer. Two leopards on the prowl find something slithering around in the bushes. Once they realize what it is, you can see them take a few steps back and hesitate to engage. However, one of them decides to risk it and goes closer, which the African rock python certainly doesn't appreciate. It charges, nearly missing the leopard's eye. But now the big cat is pissed. 
he charges too, but the snake slithers out the other end. The leopard manages to get a swipe in with its paw, and this time, the snake gets much closer with its own attack. There's a scuffle in the bushes, and the leopard leaps away, no doubt sustaining some serious injuries at this point. He's got it in his mouth. African rock pythons are one of the six largest species of snakes in the world, growing up to 11 feet and over 170 pounds. There have been some records of a 19-foot python too, and this can't be dismissed entirely. They are constrictors, which means they wrap around their prey and induce a cardiac arrest. These guys will eat anything from rodents and insects to antelope and crocodiles. This leopard would be no more than a midday snack for this python. Perhaps realizing this, the leopard stands back. We miss out on a load of entertainment happening underwater. Many battles happen deep in the ocean, unbeknownst to us, and there are regular encounters between octopuses and sharks. We only get to see these battles if they're in a tank in a zoo, which is where this instance was recorded. If you've ever seen Jaws, or even if you haven't, you're probably afraid of sharks, but octopuses aren't any less of a threat. This blue shark was swimming along, minding its own business, when an octopus launched itself from its hiding spot and tried to take down the 12-foot long predator. Of course, the octopus is not so small himself, with a weight of 600 pounds and a 30-foot tentacle, so it's anyone's guess who could win. After a few minutes of struggle, when it looks like the shark has been engulfed in tentacles and might die, we see it actually devour the octopus. Sharks prefer squids and other crustaceans for their meals, but if an octopus is going to challenge them, we're guessing it won't follow its diet so strictly. A crocodile's worst nightmare is another crocodile. Crocodiles boast of having the strongest bite force in the world. Their sharp conical teeth are designed to bite but not chew, so crocodiles eat their meat whole. You think he's out? No, but he's gonna, he's gonna try to do what? They also have a very powerful tail that not only helps them swim, but also helps them defend themselves as it can quickly sweep you off your feet. For a crocodile to go up against another crocodile, they know what to expect, but most importantly, they know where it hurts the most. Crocodiles fight to establish dominance, but they also fight and eat each other when they have prolonged hunger. During the latter, the weakest link lands in another crocodile's tummy, but the fight is not that simple. In this crocodile park, a chunk of meat was thrown to the crocodiles, and, as you'd expect, one crocodile caught it, and the other didn't. The one that didn't catch the meat decides to attack the one that caught the meat. It bites the leg in hope that the crocodile will release the meat, but it doesn't. It prefers to swallow the meat while trying to free its leg at the same time. In this other park, the crocodiles are being fed. A chunk of meat is thrown to a far distance so that the visitors can have a good look at which of the crocodiles will get to the meat first. But instead, they are treated to a rude shock. One of the crocodiles tries to take a run for the meat when it is suddenly attacked by another crocodile for absolutely no reason. The attacking crocodile bites one of the front leg and twists the leg until it completely breaks off. The crocodile seems to be in absolute shock and pain as it doesn't even try to defend itself. Otters are undoubtedly one of the cutest, happiest little animals on the planet. The internet is full of adorable pictures of otters with teddy bears, smiling otters, and otters holding hands. Aww. But there is a species of giant otters, and while they're still cute, they can also be aggressive when they need to be. When it looked like this caiman croc was getting too close for comfort to this nest of otters, the male stepped in to defend it. At first, they tried to distract the caiman while others attacked from the front. They went in so hard, they actually managed to kill the caiman. Caimans are not easy to bring down. They are even responsible for several human fatalities. So, you can understand how impressive it is that this pack of otters managed to kill one. This is a story these otters will be telling their grandkids for sure. In a fight between a 13-foot, 800-pound alligator known for its powerful jaw and a 6-foot, 44-pound eel, who do you think will win? Sounds like it's an obvious answer, right? The caiman snaps its jaws around the throat of the eel, 
And while it might have seemed like a good idea then, the Cayman starts to regret it. Electric eels can generate low and high voltage thanks to three pairs of abdominal organs that produce electricity. These organs make up four-fifths of their body. Sure enough, the eel shocks the caiman with a pretty high voltage for an uncomfortably long time. Two apex predators in the Canadian Arctic face off against each other, but one of them has backup. The Arctic wolf, or white wolf, is a medium-sized subspecies of the gray wolf and native to the Queen Elizabeth Islands of Canada. They typically roam in packs, which could mean bad news for this polar bear. This is wolf territory, but it's also the polar bear migration path. They will either have to learn to share or fight over this coastline. It seems the wolves pick the latter. They are known to hunt polar bears and harass them. This one goes straight for a bear that appears to be enjoying a nap. If they manage to catch this bear, it'll feed the pack for a week. At 1500 pounds and with a bite force of 1200 psi, nobody dares approach them or challenge them. That is excluding this wolf. The bear seems to be up to the challenge and confronts the wolf head on, but there are more of them about. It's three against one. The bear seems to run calculations in his head before deciding to go for it. The chase is on and the wolves scatter and run. It seems the bear has won this fight. Almost any wildlife photographer will probably tell you that their chosen profession comes with inevitable hazards and risks. After all, you can't predict how mother nature or a wild animal will behave and both can turn on you at any given moment without warning. If you didn't already know this one, wildlife photographer Christopher Cartu learned this exact lesson in early 2015 while taking snapshots of mountain gorillas in Rwanda's Volcanoes National Park. Seemingly out of nowhere, the group's 550-pound alpha male charged at Cartu, who skillfully captured an image of the gorilla, swinging his fist right before it made contact with the poor photographer. The angry gorilla was reportedly drunk from eating bamboo stems, which fermented in the animal's stomachs, causing intoxication. In less than a second, he was on me and strongly hit me like a rugby player, Cartu recalled. With the shock, I felt all his power and weight on my body. The photographer explained that gorillas are usually timid, at least in his experience, and that they typically avoid close contact with people. But as we all know, a little too much alcohol can easily lead to aggression, and this apparently applies to members of the animal kingdom as well. In fact, Cartu believes that the drunk gorilla didn't necessarily even intentionally target him. He didn't care about me and pushed me out of the way with his left hand like I was not there, the man said. Oh, man. <laughs> then he dashed to the vegetation to chase away a rival male behind us who looked to be interested in one of the females. It would take a truly desperate predator to resort to tackling a porcupine for food. In case you didn't know, the only place you can get a bite out of a porcupine is its underbelly, which one could argue is a tad challenging to get to, given all those spikes on their bodies. Most porcupines are about 60 to 90 centimeters long, with their spikes anywhere between 43 and 75 centimeters, depending on the species. They are round little things and relatively slow, so no match for the speed of a wildcat. But their strategy of defense is a posmatic, which means they advertise to predators that they are not worth attacking or eating. Along with raising their quills, Porcupines also clatter their teeth as a warning noise to let predators know not to come any closer. The porcupine's tail is also able to swing in the direction of the predator. If contact is made, the quills can be impaled into the predator, causing injury or death. Nevertheless, the leopard tries to paw at the porcupine, looking for a way to flip it over and expose the underbelly. The sharp quills can easily snap off and become embedded in flesh which is a pretty good defense and an attack if needed. However, the leopard keeps trying and the porcupine retaliates by poking the leopard and leaving its quills there. We see the wounded cat lick its injury as the porcupine makes a run for it. Sometimes our opponents don't have to be the same species as us or even another member of the animal kingdom. Sometimes it can be something as basic as a fence 
What could be dangerous about a fence? I hear you cry. Hey. Well, try putting some voltage through it and a fence can become a worthy opponent for an animal, and in this case, a goat. In this clip, the goat attempts to get some food that's just out of reach of his pen, not realizing that there's an electric shock coming his way. He's agonizingly close to that perfect bit of grass he's desperate to chew on. But unfortunately for him, instead, he gets to chew on an electric current instead. The shock sends the goat darting across the field, taking his anchor point with him, but it doesn't stop there. Rather than shocking the animal into submission, it sends the creature into a wild charge around his pen. Let this be a lesson to all of us, that the grass maybe isn't greener on the other side. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over, and we may even feature it on a future video. Now a rooster and a bull represent quite a significant size difference, not to mention a herd of bulls. What if I told you these two faced off against each other? You'd probably think that the bull could step on the rooster and the fight would be over. Well, you'd think wrong. This particular rooster hasn't heard the phrase pick on someone your own size, and is quite happy attempting to kick this particular bull in the face while flapping its wings. The bull brings its friends for reinforcement. But you're thinking this is the end of this rooster's reign as undisputed king of this pen. Again, you're wrong. The rooster pulls out the signature move, and the bulls are scared off, leaving this cock as the king of the farm. Often at times, the tallest animals are perceived as gentle giants. However, when territory and females come into the picture, especially during the mating season, the rights to the females elevate the situation to a pretty ugly one. With their height credited to their long and muscular necks, these giants are equipped with a head shaped like a club. The two ossicones protruding from their heads are powerful enough to slug and take down an opponent. In this video, these two males are fighting over mating rights. Using their long necks, they rain down on each other a series of sucker punches powerful enough to break ribs. The impact of the punches can be heard as far as 100 meters. To win, one giraffe will have to get that one killer punch enough to knock out the other. One of the giraffes then delivers a powerful blow to the head of the other, enough to stop blood flow to the head. This knocks out cold the opponent. The dominating giraffe then places one of its front leg on the knocked out opponent, pinning him down. However, despite the warning to stay down, the opponent tries to get up and put up the fight, but once again is on the receiving end of more blows from the champion. After two more rounds of the same, he eventually luckily gets away, but not without a few wounds. The dominating giraffe has all the females and the territory to himself. What a fight! Suppose you were the one witnessing such a scene in the park. What would you have done? Let us know in the comments section below. Another example of a goat-like animal, picking a fight with an inanimate object now. This time it's a ram attempting to get the better of a red punching bag. However, on this particular day, the punching bag puts up a fair fight and refuses to be beaten easily. This may not be the kind of training you're used to from Ali, Mayweather, or Fury, but the ram is giving it everything he's got. Unfortunately for him, the more effort he puts into ramming the bag, the more force comes right back to meet him. Unlike pro boxers, the ram doesn't appear to learn his lesson and gets a battering in the process. In the animal kingdom, food is not something that goes to waste. A dead hippo can feed a family of any apex predator in the land, and it seems one of them has set its sights on the hippo. The Nile crocodile can grow 14 to 18 feet in length, and they have a bite force of a whopping 5,000 pounds per square inch. Oh. <laughs> but is it a match for the hippo that's going to come and fend the hungry crocodile off his companion? Several Nile crocodiles swim up to the carcass and begin feasting on it. There are about 30 of them circling the body, taking a bite out of wherever they can. 
What they don't see is two or three hippos approaching as well, ready to fight them off. Hippos and crocodiles normally coexist peacefully. But being the predators they are, crocodiles tend to jump at the opportunity to prey on a defenseless animal or scavenge a dead one. One of them, probably the mother, pushes the crocs off the hippo and chases them away. Jaguars are notorious for feeding on all the animals in their terrain. But this time, he's got his match in the form of a fellow apex predator. However, it turns out to be a very lopsided fight, with the jaguar clearly having the upper hand and the anaconda having little to offer in self-defense. Luckily, the anaconda was able to retreat into safety of the river, saving us the pain of watching an anaconda get mauled by a jaguar. It's unclear what provoked these hyenas to attack in the way they did. But this lone lioness standing in tall grass seemed to be minding her own business when the entire pack pounced on her. The lion struggles desperately to get away, but more and more hyenas join in on the bullying. At one point, there are so many of them you could barely even see the lioness. Luckily, her friend comes to her rescue and pounces on one of the hyenas, sending a few of them running. More lions come in and give chase, and while many of the hyenas do the smart thing and clear off, some come back to issue a challenge. There's a standoff before a few growls send the remaining hyenas packing. The relatively large, hairy bodies, tarantula spiders aren't exactly pretty to look at. Their fear factor goes up when you consider that they're able to eat larger animals like lizards, mice, and some small birds. If you think these spiders are scary, just imagine the kind of creature that preys on them, the tarantula hawk wasp. In 2017, a nine-year-old boy named Cash Perry captured video footage of a tarantula hawk wasp attacking a tarantula spider in Arizona Perry. His family encountered the gruesome sight while on their way to go hiking, and the little boy seized the opportunity to film it for the world to see. Tarantula hawks are incredibly large parasitic wasps who prey on tarantula spiders. Hence the epic battle that ensues after the Perrys hit the record button. Tarantula hawk wasp can paralyze its opponent. In fact, that's exactly what the wasp was attempting to do to the large spider. In fact, that's exactly what the wasp was attempting to do to the large spider in the footage. Once a tarantula hawk paralyzes a tarantula spider, it will lay an egg inside the spider's belly, which Cash's father points out the insect is trying to do. Once the wasp larva hatches inside the tarantula, it eats the spider from the inside out, keeping it alive as long as possible, but avoiding vital organs at first. Eventually, the wasp successfully stings and paralyzes the spider, which Cash's mom points out is so sad. She's certainly not wrong, but I suppose that now is a good time to point out that while nature can be beautiful, it can also be brutal, and the tarantula was simply facing both a losing battle and a very unfortunate reality. These dragons are the largest extent species of lizards growing up to 10 feet in length, and they dominate the ecosystem they live in. Found in Indonesia's Komodo Island, these guys hunt and ambush anything that moves, from invertebrates to birds and mammals. Their group behavior while hunting is exceptional in the reptile world, and they're also known to attack humans. In this case, an unfortunate monkey becomes the prey of this massive lizard. After eating about 80% of their body weight, these dragons usually drag themselves to a sunny location to speed up digestion since the food can rot and poison it if left undigested. You definitely don't want to be around to see that. Imagine getting kicked in the face by a zebra. How would that feel? Well, if only it could talk, this wildebeest would be in a position to tell us more. Never make the mistake of standing behind a zebra or even a horse. Because a kick in the face from those hooves would make a rocky punch a flick in comparison. Unfortunately, the wildebeest in this video was privy to no such information and kept hovering around a zebra when suddenly, out of the blue, the zebra lands a solid kick in the wildebeest and knocks it out cold. The rest of the wildebeest herd are so shocked, they run like crazy from the scene. Ever been punched in the face and seen those stars like in the cartoons? 
leave a like, and let us know in the comments below. It's easy to guess which one would make it out alive in a normal situation. A fluffy little rabbit has no chance against a venomous snake, or so you would think. This snake found a rabbit's nest and was gearing up for a buffet breakfast of bunny babies when the mother arrived. This video is a testament to what a mother can do if her babies are under threat. This rabbit fights the snake with all her might, and when the snake realizes it's not getting that meal, it tries to slither away. Well, the mother isn't finished yet. She pulls the snake back for one final hit before letting it go. I guess the moral here is never to mess with a mother's baby. I don't know about you, but I certainly don't like to share my food. This footage of a crocodile and lioness going head to head was captured in Samburu National Reserve in Kenya. When tourists found the two fighting over an elephant carcass, the lioness tiptoes around the giant for a while before the crocodile turns around and attacks. Oh my goodness. But what we realize only later is that she has had backup the whole time in case things get messy. All three of them pounce on the poor croc as it flails around. He tries to get away desperately and succeeds and warns the group off with a show of his teeth. They retreat only for a moment. The second fight ensues soon after, but because of some technical issues, the video didn't record on this tourist's phone. But we can see in these photos that it was quite the standoff. The three lionesses manage to circle the crocodile and pounce on her again. The croc tries its best, but it's ultimately no match for three lionesses. The king, or rather the queens of the jungle, emerge victorious and claim the elephant carcass for their pride. Jaguars are known to be solitary adept predators who are opportunistic and are masters in the stalk and ambush technique of catching prey rather than chasing. Being obligate carnivores, jaguars solely depend on animal flesh for their bodily nutrients and energy requirements. The king of the rivers, just like jaguars, is an ambush predator. His technique is however only helpful when prey is in the water or drinking the water. In this video, a jaguar is seen slowly strolling down the rainforest towards the river with its eyes set on one thing, a crocodile. The jaguar slowly approaches and crouches on the riverbank, with the mangrove trees providing cover as he stalks the crocodile. Up the riverbank, the crocodile cannot see, and thus, the jaguar has an upper hand from this blind spot. When the right opportunity arises, the jaguar jumps into the river, and for a second or two, a tussle between the two ensues. The jaguar armed with a powerful bite enough to pierce through hard shells of most of the armored reptiles bites directly through the skull of the crocodile, between the ears, and delivers a fatal blow to the brain. It then drags the crocodile out of the water and heads to enjoy its meal. Just how powerful is the jaguar that it can drag the crocodile out of the water? Truly, the jaguar is the king of the rainforests. Or, what do you think? Leave a comment below. In 2019, Taurus captured a rare footage of a confrontation between a hippopotamus and a group of rhinoceros near the remote Malamala airstrip. Rhinos may look fearsome, but are harmless. However, don't think of poking around one like this hippo who kept trying to flirt and make aggressive advances at this female rhino until the hippo got so annoying that the entire rhino herd chased him. Despite the chase, the hippo won't relent and runs back behind his new lady love who finally decides she's had enough. The hippo lover gets a rhino horn up his rear end. Hopefully, the encounter was a lesson learned about not messing with the wrong opponent. There's no doubting that penguins are cute animals. Happy Feet has taught us all that. But, have you ever seen a penguin flare up and defend itself? That's exactly what happened in this next video. If you mess with a Gen 2 penguin's young, you best get ready for a fight. On this occasion, the animal that fancied penguin for breakfast was a petrel, 
with a wingspan of up to 2 meters. The seabird attempts to pluck a young Gen 2 from ashore, but Daddy Penguin is having none of it. He attacks the bird and forces his baby from its grasp. It's not easy. Dad needs to give it a couple of goes, but gets there in the end, and his baby is safe. One thing to learn from this countdown, apart from the fact that goats are stupid, is that you shouldn't mess with Dad. What could easily be a three-way lightweight world championship bout in WWE if they hosted competitions for animals? This honey badger was in a really bad spot before his unlikeliest of tag team partners came to the rescue. Even a fierce adversary like the honey badger couldn't break free from the stranglehold of the python. Kinda says a lot about the strength of the python if you ask me. While the jackal did about enough to distract the python, the honey badger managed to wiggle free from its oppressor. And you know what comes next after you let a honey badger escape after such an experience. Vengeance! The bout goes from tag team to every man for himself, and the python was the prize. If that python ever makes it out alive, I think he's going to think twice before going after a honey badger. What happens when a jaguar tries to bite off more than what they can chew? Predators generally go for baby anteaters, as the adults are too much work to fight and pin down. Well, this jaguar was probably in the mood for a bigger lunch and decided to take his chances. Anteaters can be pretty ferocious fighters and have strung forelimbs and claws. The claws are used to tear into termite nests or anthills, but it can be used for other things too. But in this clip, it looks like he wasn't looking to use his claws, but rather tease the jaguar by laying low on the ground and inviting the jaguar to attack before pulling a 180 on him. This epic battle went down in the Pacific Ocean, and some were lucky enough to capture it. Sea lions haven't made a habit of eating thresher and leopard sharks, but they could if they wanted to. This footage filmed on Lugana Beach shows a sea lion take down a leopard shark with almost no effort at all. While sharks may be at the top of the food chain in the ocean, it is almost always no match for a 770 pound sea lion. We say almost because sharks are known to make a snack of seals, so this one was probably fighting for its pack. If you had had a glimpse of the yearly Great Wildebeest migration, then you know that the river is where wildebeest and crocodiles interact the most. Being the kings of underwater ambush attacks, it is almost impossible to get off the jaw of a crocodile. But wildebeest have constantly proven that even in the case where you are attacked by a crocodile, do not give up easily. Your chances of survival may be very low, but a little persistence, you might escape with injuries. Oh, wow, he's got him. Whoa, whoa, shit. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait. Whoa. This wildebeest was leaving the waterhole after quenching its thirst when it was suddenly attacked by a crocodile. The crocodile had hooked its sharp teeth on one of the hind legs of the wildebeest. The rest of the wildebeest herd helplessly watched as one of them was about to be turned into a meal. None of them would have the guts or be stupid enough to come to the rescue of this poor animal. They are all aware of how events can take a quick turn, but regardless, this wildebeest is not about to give up and let the crocodile have it easy. It successfully pulls itself a few steps away from the waterhole, but the crocodile pulls it back down. With a few pulls here and there, the wildebeest is defeated and pulled deeper into the water. Just when the crocodile is about to celebrate, two hippos approach the two animals. The bigger hippo charges and pounces on the crocodile, which quickly releases the wildebeest. The poor animal escapes with a badly injured leg. Mongooses are known to be territorial carnivores, who are equipped with long, sharp, and non-retracting claws, as well as a set of sharp teeth, capable of inflicting severe injuries and or even killing Snake anything that trespasses the their territory. Tonight. While their main prey is mostly lizards, insects, and rodents, they're also known to prey on snakes, even the most venomous snakes are of no exception. The king cobra is known to expand its neck ribs to form a hood before attacking and is among the highly venomous snakes. As seen in this video, a mongoose is ready to challenge a king cobra who seems to have slithered into the mongoose's territory. What follows is a tough fight, which appears like a game of who will hit the other first and hard. The cobra tries to strike the mongoose and inject its venom while the mongoose tries to bite the cobra's head. Eventually, the mongoose strikes first and gets a bite of the snake's head 
and they tussle and ruffle with the cobra, trying to shake off the mongoose. The cobra manages to escape from the jones of death, literally, and slithers away, but not without a few scratches on its head. The mongoose retains his territory and lives to fight another day, but not without a blind eye, probably inflicted by the cobra's fangs. I know you're probably asking yourself how the mongoose survived that and it had been injected with venom. Well, mongooses are known to have mutated receptors that prevent any snake venom from binding and becoming lethal. Just imagine being venom proof. With its rounded ears and less prominent mane, the spotted hyena, also known as the laughing hyena, is the most social of all the carnivorous mammals. <laughs> Being the master of opportunism, by taking advantage of other animals' kill, they are the true scavengers of Africa. The laughing hyena has the capability of eating and digesting both skin and bone, as well as other animal waste, a capacity that other carnivores lack. Traditionally, the spotted hyena was depicted as a grave robber, able to uncover the grave and feast on the carcass. Ew. The African wild dogs are skilled hunters, and thus, hyenas tend to hang out around them using every little chance they get to steal a bite, if not chunks of the wild dog's kill. The relationship between these two is however one-sided, as it only benefits the kleptoparasitic hyenas. Unfortunately, besides mobbing them of their prey, hyenas also tend to kill these African wild dogs. As seen in this video, this spotted hyena has killed one of the wild dog pack members, and the others want to avenge his death. Working cooperatively, the wild dogs take turns biting the legs and belly of the hyena, repeatedly. The hyena tries as much as it can to hide its legs, whilst crying out loud for backup. Luckily for him, backup arrives and manages to chase the wild dogs away. The hyenas are able to secure a meal, but one of them has paid the cost. Or maybe it was caught in a snare or something like that. Like a snare. But it's not that. What you're about to watch is a matchup set up by Mother Nature herself in South Florida. No, it didn't happen in the Kendall Village Center. It was a battle of the fittest between a six foot long alligator and a python big enough to kill it. Although we can't make out much of the video, it's clear the alligator was in serious trouble. We later saw in the video what the assailant was, a Burmese python. It was reported that both animals spent time slamming each other into the water in a water ballet manner. This is our only interspecies conflict on our list, and isn't exactly the most brutal, but serves as a reminder that you shouldn't mess with a gorilla, especially not a daddy gorilla. Filmed in San Diego Zoo, this footage shows a younger gorilla trying to walk past Dad. He thinks he's made it, but Daddy pulls out a cheeky sucker punch just to make sure the family knows who the king of this enclosure is. Gorillas aren't too far away from humans in terms of how families operate. And we've all been in situations where Dad has felt the need to assert dominance. Whether it's trying to beat you at bowling or giving you a sucker punch, it sends out the same message. I'm dad, and I'm the boss. Named for their roan reddish brown color, roan antelopes are one of the largest antelope species. They are equipped with two ringed horns, which can grow to reach about a meter and a half. In their herds, they occasionally fight among themselves for dominance by brandishing and locking horns, while both contestants are on their knees. Roan antelopes are brave prey, and if threatened by a predator, they will confront them using their horns. A deep cut from one of these horns is enough to pierce vital body organs. If lucky not to reach any vital organ, the wound left by the horns might get infections, and the predator eventually will succumb to them. In this video, we see not one, but two lions attacking a roan antelope. The lions gang up to try and take down the antelope. Unfortunately for them, this will not be an easy meal as they anticipated, for the antelope is ready to put up a fight till his last breath. The antelope tries to hit the lions with its horns, but they immediately release the antelope, probably aware of the damage the horns can cause. On being released, the antelope gets up, but it's badly injured on its hind legs, hindering its movement. 
This makes it difficult for the antelope to gallop away. The lions, aware of the weak antelope, roam around him, awaiting the perfect opportunity to pounce. The antelope goes down on being too weak to stand, and one of the lions tries to take his chance and deliver that killer bite. The antelope once again tries to hit the lion with its horns, and manages to successfully shake him off. After what appears to be a pause in the fight for survival, one of the lions moves in, and the antelope is too weak by now. It was not an easy meal after all. In August 2013, tourists documented a face-off between an angry hippopotamus and an African elephant who invaded its turf in Botswana. There is an island in the middle of the Kobe River to which this elephant had crossed. The hippo was not happy about it and was apparently defending its territory. The tourists watched and recorded as the partially submerged hippo approached the African elephant who stood calmly near the river. The fearless and angry hippo bared his jaws and teeth as he emerged onto the island and attempted to intimidate his newfound adversary, who also happens to be the world's largest land animal. Meanwhile, the elephant bowed his head in preparation for a possible battle and the hippo refused to back down until reinforcements appeared to provide backup for the elephant. When more elephants crossed the river to the island, the hippo backed off and went back into the river. Sounds like he made the smart choice, especially because while hippos can pose a very real threat to humans and many other animals, one is typically no match against a full-grown elephant. Wild boars are closely related to the pig family. They can survive in almost any habitat, but their favorite is the deciduous forests. They are naturally unaggressive, but this can change when they have a good reason to. In fact, they would rather run away than fight back. But when worst comes to worst, they are left with no choice but to use their long tusks to defend themselves. They do have lots of predators, and the crocodile is one of them. On this particular day, a group of wild boars and their young ones were feeding and trying to access water from the waterhole. The crocodile had however taken note of them and thought it would have been an easy meal. In our eyes, and those of the crocodile, wild boars are an easy target because of their size and their position in the food chain. This crocodile was smart enough to have a go at the young wild boars, but the minute it attacked, all the wild boars scattered away and it completely missed the golden opportunity. The adult boars almost immediately attacked the crocodile and took a dash. The crocodile remained with its mouth wide open in hope of getting another opportunity, but the wild boars gathered together and went further from the waterhole. 